Hello YouTube, hello Facebook, hello the world overall. My name is Morgan James Does Games and here's what's on my mind. Can you dig it? Can you feel that in the air? Can you? Can you just like imagine the excitement that's going on right now? It's it's a tangible feeling. It's it's a feeling that is exciting. It really is. It feels almost as if the stars have aligned. But what could I be talking about? Love? Work? No, but those things are pretty close. I'm going to talk about politics today. And you know what? I don't mind one bit. As always, fuck Trump. And that being said, the Dems are roaring back with slamming the red puddle like no tomorrow. As we've been projected to take back the House and maybe, just maybe, the Senate too. Dear God, let that be the glorious thing to happen. Just let it. I know I haven't yapped on uh, politics for a while. And that's mainly because the only thing I care about is getting America back on track. Back when, you know... Presidents weren't fucking insane, alleged piss-drinking, tiny-handed, tantrum-throwing, daughter-warring, freaks of nature, cursed with tiny mushroom dicks. Yeah, there's a lot to unpack, unpack there. There is definitely a lot to unpack there. But it is all good. Look, let it be said that first and foremost, I sympathize with the flight of the Trump supporter. I really, really do. I don't hate you. I don't not like you. I get it. You were blitzed by the dark horse's words, his shiny nameplate. You wanted a change, a change that would upset the political system to its very core. And you believed him. You believed that he built that wall that he would lock her up, that he would drain the swamp, and that he'd sign executive orders into law that would turn the world into your personal snow globe. <clears throat> but that's the thing about dark horses. They can't truly be trusted. And like everything else about Donald, the shine, the glitz, the glamour, the golden gleam from the sunlight hitting it just right, that was simply as thin as a leaf. Votes poured in. He became president. And then very, very slowly, it all came apart as his past was dug up. And there were skeletons. Oh, so many skeletons. So many poisons. So many lies. Misleads. Alternative facts and fake news that he touted that you still wanted to believe. Time passed, his tantrums, anger, and Twitter storms became normal, and less and less the Trump supporter began to see and realize what we all knew from day one. Donald Trump betrayed not only the trust of his support base, but America as well. A divide happened. Things went from bad to worse. More reports, allegations, accusations, hidden secrets, sexual deviancies, wrinkles began to form in the wet napkin promises that he tried delivering and everyone saw what a mistake Donald John Trump's presidency was and still is. Though there are still out there whose eyes are clouded by their own firm belief that even though the engines had burnt out, both wings were torn off, the pilots abandoned the cockpit, and there were plenty of parachutes to spare, that Donald Trump will continue on being president and making things better for America. That type of devotion to a falling failing president is to be applauded. I commend you few left who are still trying to hold up the rotted oak tree that is Donald John Trump. That being said, his ass is on the way out the door and we're all slathering, slathering the floor with as much oil as we can to make it all happen the, all the faster. We want to heal the divide Donald's caused America. We wish to bring together its peoples, its parties, and... <clears throat> Go back to a time where there weren't screaming matches at the dinner table across America about why Democrats or Republicans are the ugly party. It's never been about that. What is at stake here is the removal of a corrupted, bribed idiot who was placed in office through the influence of one of America's ugliest and deceptive opponents, 
Russia. Well, rather, the Kremlin. This isn't the 1950s. There's no Cold War propaganda machine telling the commies could be your best friend. It's important to know the facts. This is about removing the dug-in splinters, squeezing out the swamp water. Lost my place. Water and getting things back to normal. A normal where you don't <clears throat> hear about Trump being an utter asshole every 10 seconds. Where you don't hear about what's wrong with Trump, what he's done. And to be honest, we're all kind of sick to our souls hearing about a racist reality star failing to lead our country. I told you all of this a long time ago. Back when these dominoes were slamming down in the first place, I predicted that this guy wouldn't last the full term. And I think I'm going to be right. Do I inherently believe that Trump from the very beginning was the wrong guy? Yes, regardless of party affiliation. He was wrong for the country. People are already talking about impeachment. And while I agree that needs to happen, I also believe the Mueller investigation needs to go its full course. I don't know what's taking so long. Maybe they're taking the page out of Trump's playbook and waiting for a critical moment to release the information to damage his chances at election. Maybe not. That would be a better thing. Serve him uh, some shut the fuck up pie. Anyways, I've already said my piece. So, and I've got other things to focus on. So, <clears throat> Thank you so much for watching, and as always, I'll see you beautiful people, like a beast, in the next video. Peace. Bibbidi-bop-bop-bow.